Welcome to our program, Toda Beats LSS. I am your host, Pastor Van. So what is this program all about? Simple, just remember LSS. That stands for Learn, Sing, and Share. So what we are going to do here is we are going to learn and sing Christian music. And we are going to hear and learn from personal experience personal testimonies, and comments from our guests. So help me welcome our guests for this episode. Worship leaders from Church of God, Agdao, World Missions, Philippines. We have Sir Jeko and Mom Bella. Welcome. Hello, Mom. Thank, Thank you for you having so us, Mom. Yes. Can you please introduce yourselves? Okay, so hello, GMBT TV. I am Aine Baldano. You can call me Bella. I am a worship leader from COG Agdao, and uh, I am the full-time media head there. Also, I am a core leader uh, in our youth. So, and currently, I am working as a uh, virtual assistant. So, I think that's it. Yes, okay. Sir Jekyll? Yes, uh, hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for inviting us here yes. and to be part of this program. Uh, it's truly an honor and privilege and by the way, my name is Jericho Esambire. I'm from COG Agdao. And currently, I'm a sports ministry head. And at the same time, a worship leader and a musician. Alright, wow. Welcome. And we are so excited to hear you sing this uh, today. So our song in this episode is entitled A Thousand Times I Cry. This is originally a Korean song and GMBT translated it in English. So help me welcome once again our guests from COG Worship Leaders to sing the song. times the tears in my eyes keep streaming like a river at the love of the cross for my salvation he carried the cross all my wretched sin by his precious blood is washed away Deliver me. 
Praise God. What a wonderful voice that you have. Yes, Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you so much for singing that beautiful song for us uh, this morning. For Sir Jeko, what can you say about the lyrics and the music of the song? Especially, you are a worship leader and a musician at the same time. So, what are your insights about this song? Okay, uh, for me, the first time I heard that song, um, the lyrics are very clear okay. and understandable, yes. legible, and immediately caught my heart. Wow. And um, regarding for the lyrics, yes. um, it's singable, it's simple to sing, okay. and regarding for the lyrics and the melody are well balanced. Ah, and although uh, this song can can also sing to the congregation, mm. but for me, mm -mm. Uh, I like to be my personal uh, si uh, personal devotion to ah, that, yes. that song. Okay. You prefer to sing it on your own time, personal quiet, quiet time. time. Yes, to the Lord. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, your insights, Bella, about. Uh, the music or the lyrics of the song. Okay, oh, for me, oh, this song is an anointed song. Yeah, Amen. because oh, it's it's not just a song that you sing and like it. I really felt the presence of God in this song because the lyrics are so vivid. It's clear. clear. It speaks about the love of God, okay. and yeah, it just oh, spoke to me. <laughs> this song really spoke to me, yes. especially in my. Uh, personal uh, struggle in life right now that I'm oh, facing. So okay. this song is uh, a blessing to me. For Sir Jeko, um, what is your idea about congregational song? If we will choose a song for our church, congregation, what do you think are the elements we should consider? Okay, uh, for me, uh, the, the elements that we need to consider is uh, First is the lyrics. Okay, yes. The the lyrics of the song is it must be uh, understandable. Yes. And clear. Yes. And second is the word of the song. It must be also biblical. Amen. True. And the lyrics and the melody, uh, which is it must be also a, it's not hard for them to 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 play to sing. True. Yes. Yes. That's... We call it right. The the term we call we uh, Filipino musicians yes. singers kapa, right? Yes. It's not kapa. difficult to kapa the yeah. song yes. in in um, as a musician and as a singer. It's very easy and simple and understandable. Yes. And what uh, uh, what you said is it should be biblical. Yes. That is very important. We need to depend our ourselves. Uh, in the presence of the Lord, which is the Bible. Amen. True. True. Yes. Um, do you have anything to add to that, Mambela? I think oh, he said <laughs> everything already. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, as a worship leader, right? Uh, yeah. We need to check the lyrics, right? Yeah, I also, I, sorry. When it, for me, when it comes to congregational song and a personal song, it really, uh, uh, when we use the word I, yeah, a thousand times I cry, mm -hmm. so it's too personal. Okay. Okay. So, for me, a uh, congregational song is more on a 
for we everyone. as a church. Yeah, we as yes. a church. Yeah, I mean that's for me. All right. So yeah, we we need really to to study the lyrics, right? We just don't uh, copy songs from these artists and from this band without uh, studying, learning the the elements such as the lyrics, the music, its dynamics, and how it is composed. For you, Mabella, um, with the message and the lyrics of the song, is it relevant? It, does it speak to you personally? Yeah, it speaks to me personally. Okay, not just in my current situation. I, yeah, I can remember way back then. I I was a minister for I think, uh, going eleven years, and personally speaking, uh, I just like to testify about this. I, I was a carnal Christian back then. Carnal yeah. Christian. So, um, can you uh, tell us what do you mean by carnal Christian? Okay, carnal Christian is a uh, uh, two-faced Christian. Yeah. Okay. So, I was a carnal Christian back then. I do the ministry, but outside I go drinking. Oh, so, all right. So, yeah, that was my life before. I don't know if... Kuya has any idea about it? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a secret. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not a secret anymore. I mean, this is my testimony. Uh, and yeah, but I go before. Yeah, you before. Did not tell your. Yeah, it was only the Lord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. So I I go to church and sometimes I'm drunk. Really? Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> what uh what really reminded me about this song is my life back then okay. because. I, I realized that I really did not fully understood what God's love for me. Okay. Like, I mean, I think that's what lacking. That's what's lacking uh, for me back then. That it's okay for me to sin, to do wicked things, because I do not give importance. I do not really understood what, what's, what did he, uh, what God did yes. at the cross of the Calvary. So, I can. Uh, I can really relate this now because uh, I remember those times. God really humbled me. Okay. Like, uh, I, there was full of shame. Yeah, okay. we cannot deny that. When we sin, there is full of shame, full of guilt. But I really humbled myself down. And all it takes is an honest prayer. Yes. All it takes is an honest cry. A yes. thousand times we cry. Yes. And God will never fail us. No. Oh. And I really... Uh, I really encountered God's love that moment. And mm. yeah, that's it. It really changed me. I mean, I think that's what's lacking for us Christians is that we really do not understand what God's love is. So yes. this, uh, this song really uh, spoke to me because it really uh, talks about God's love, especially yes. what he did at the cross of the Calvary. Yes. I mean, it's very cliche to hear that uh, Jesus died on the cross, yes. okay? I mean, he's our savior, but do we really understand what yes. he did on the cross? So yeah, I'm really blessed by this song. Ah, wow, that's good to know. And that's a very humbling to, to hear. And it is true, when we just humble ourselves before the Lord, he is always ready to restore us, redeem us again, yes. make us whole yes. again, and forgive us from all our sins. He is uh, going to wash away all our sins. And it's true, I'll uh, add to what you said, carnal Christian. So I think that means uh, we just say we are Christians. It's just by name. It's just like, yeah, I am a Christian, you know, I believe in God, I go to church. But then it, it's different when you uh, uh, act it out. Yeah. You don't live it truly. How yes. to be Christ disciple, Christ followers, a believer of Christ. So it's contradicting. Yeah. So Cardinal Christians is just like by name, Christian by name. They do not have integrity. Yes, yeah. they don't live out. What is uh, written in the Bible, Jesus commands uh, for so us true. as His followers and believers. So that's very important. So it's a time also for us to check our hearts, our faith. If are we just saying, I am a Christian, but then we don't live out the Word of God. We don't show to the world that we truly receive and experience that great love of Christ for us. How about you, Sir Jacob? 
in my own interpretation about okay. this song is uh, the, the line that uh, he gave his he gave up his throne okay. for us to save our lives. Yes. So it reminds me the unconditional love of the Lord uh -huh. for us, and despite in spite of everything uh, that we have faced right now, uh, he is his grace is unconditional. Uh, that's it. Yes, his his love is his grace. At the love of the cross, he gave up his his throne. It's very comforting and very enough to satisfy us and to fulfill us. That's a beautiful a reflection. And uh, how about in our time this time, generally? Christians, believers, of course, I believe they also experience down times, right? Especially this time, many are affected emotionally, mentally, spiritually. So how can you uh, encourage them uh, through this song, um, Mambela? Okay, so how can I encourage them through this song? Okay, so... Uh, let me uh, tell you my favorite line of the okay, song. Okay. The free chorus part. His love laid down, gave mm. eternal life. life. Okay. His love laid down, gave eternal life. And yeah, we are Christians, but sometimes we forget that we are Christians. <laughs> okay. So uh, we focus <laughs> like, on like what, like what, in what way? Sometimes we are too focused on our insecurities, on right. the situations around us. Yes. And we are bombarded by the thought that everything's falling apart. Okay. Sometimes we forget our identity. And our identity is that we are children of God. Yes. And that there's nothing to worry about. Yes. And that line, uh, his, his love laid down gave eternal life. Yes. Uh, I hope that it will encourage everyone that he laid down his love for us. Okay, so no need to worry. And I, I realized in my Christian life that uh, we really, uh, we our mindset is that we need to satisfy the Lord. We need to satisfy God, but it's not that's not the reality. Okay, we were not made to satisfy the Lord. Okay. We were made to be satisfied, satisfied by, the Lord. by the Lord. So I hope that His love will satisfy us. So yeah, that's wow. it. Wow! Thank you for that wonderful and uh, uh, true, struck, striking. It must be striking reality for us Christians. How about Sir Jeko? Anything that you want to add? Okay, for me, um, just treasure the love of the Lord because wow. we all know that God is love. Yes. And and whatever we do, uh, just seek Him always. It's a part of love to express our love to God and yes. to treasure our love to God. We need to embrace the love of God in our lives always. Amen. Amen. Yes, uh, because just like what you've said, it's very important to, to know our identity, who we are truly. Because uh, in this time, even Christians, we are... Uh, uh, swayed sometimes we tend to be uh, to see to look at the world the standards of the world uh, how the world defined uh, being loved right they yes. defined being loved differently but this song is very beautiful it's it's like a love song yeah, yes. it's it's speaking that Jesus is the one who truly loves us. That's the true love, not from any other else. Yes, yes. Because we are yeah. human, we fail, yeah, right? Yeah. We yes, fail. Yes. And so, and it's also a beautiful reminder that uh, truly, as Christians, it's it's normal that we cry. We 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 cry to God. We cry because uh, we feel. Uh, this, Lord, am I worthy? Yeah. Am I still uh, worthy True. of your calling? Yeah, yeah. And but uh, this this song is really a, a good reminder yes. that just just sing, 
Just sing the song, just yeah. read the lyrics again and again, and you will truly be reminded. Yeah, it also uh, reminds me that um, no one is worthy. Okay. okay. We're not worthy, but yes. we are doing this. We are serving God because we know He's worthy. Yes, yeah. yes. So we're doing this, all of this, because we know God's worth. Yes, yeah. yes. True, true. He is the only worthy uh, to be praised, to be honored, yes. to be glorified. All right. So I think that's that's uh, a part of our uh, testimonies, insights, and comments. So before we end, is there anything that you want to uh, to advertise, to announce, and to promote to our viewers, Sir Jekyll? Uh, okay. Uh, I don't have a. I uh, know. Uh, a YouTube channel, but I, I let me uh, allow to introduce our church. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, uh, church of God Agdao, uh, eh, somewhere in Ar Castillo Street. Uh, we have uh, four services every Sunday, so you can come and you can check our our Facebook page. Okay. Facebook uh, Ag. Mm. What's the uh, name? At Agdao C-O-G. Yes, yes. Okay. At Agdao C-O-G. And um, we also have other pages aside from our church. We have uh, the Youth Empowered. No shout out sa mga kawaii namin yes. dyan sa C-O-G Agdao. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and sa uh, Youth Empowered Mindanao, we would like to uh, send our regards. And at Youth Empowered Agdao Facebook page. And um, at Young Adult C-O-G Agdao. So we have uh, two what do you call this? Page. Uh, yeah, page. two pages for the youth empowered, which is the young people, and the young adults, okay. the young professionals. And also, uh, I'd like to uh, encourage everyone to uh, please like our YouTube channel. Uh, I, uh, if you are looking for wedding singers and a uh, wedding band, uh, we have a band. It's at Cuerdas Davao PH. Mm, and all right. yeah, I think that's Cuerdas. it. Yeah. And oh, we would like to say hi to our pastor. Hello, pastor. Hello, pastor Mix, yes. and our worship head. Yes. Okay. Ate Denden. Den. Hello, Den. Ate Denden. Den. Doris Den. Doris yeah, Den. Yeah, Doris Den. Yes. Which is a student here. Yes, yeah. a student of Davao Music Theological Seminary. All right. So don't forget to check their uh, pages, their YouTube channel, and that's it for this episode. Once again. This is Toda Beats LSS. Thank you for watching. God bless you.